Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, out of voice for radio. So today, I have to show you a very, very exciting new card, because they've literally taken a Prism Star Pokemon, one that is limited to one copy in your deck, made it better, and then printed it as a non-Prism Star Pokemon, which is clearly ridiculous, but... I'm going to be honest with you, I'm kind of into it. So what we've got here is the very first ever single prize Galarian Moltres. Obviously, we've already had Galarian Moltres V. Now, our translation comes from the lovely Antoine Boulet, who is, in fact, translating a translation from Totodar 158 underscore JP. Totodar translated it from Chinese into Japanese, and the lovely Antoine Boulet has translated it from Japanese into English, and now we're good. So starting off with the basics here, 120 HP, not good, because, I mean, there's a bunch of reasons, right? I keep telling you, there's a million different Pokemon that hit 120, but nowadays, the fact that Urshifu can do it to two bench Pokemon, or the active and a bench, that is a thing we are most concerned about. Boo, etc. We've got a retreat cost of two, which is quite high, but it's not the end of the world because we do have air balloon. We've got a weakness to grass here, which is honestly fine. Grass isn't big right now, so you'll be okay. And you're a darkness Pokemon, which means, well, I mean, honestly, you're hitting weakness against Shadow Horse, and that's kind of cool. And you've got some nice partners, so that's kind of cool. You'll work nicely in an Eternatus deck, so yeah. Go team, ladies and gentlemen. Go team. But what does it do? Well, it has the same ability that Darkrai Prism Star had. When you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench during your turn, you may attach two Darkness Energy cards from your hand to it. It is literally the same ability. Except... It's not the same ability. One of the biggest issues with this, and by this I mean Darkrai, was that it was once per game. So you would play one copy of it, and that was lovely, but then you had to find your one copy and it was a one-shot deal, and when it got discarded it went into the Lost Zone, because it was a Prism Star Pokemon, rather than going into your discard pile so it meant you couldn't use something like an ordinary rod or equivalent thereof to go and recover it it was super awkward it meant that if you played a professor's research in the early game or the equivalent you would never see it again that is not the case for galarian moltres this is just an ordinary everyday run-of-the-mill pokemon and that is phenomenal it means you can get a lot of energy on the field very, very quickly. If you want, you can just keep playing this and keep playing this and keep playing this. Incidentally, Scoop Up Net also works beautifully here. Now, you do need to get the energy off, otherwise it gets discarded when you pick it up with Scoop Up Net and that kind of defeats the object. But as long as you can get the energy off onto another Pokemon, this is going to work really rather beautifully indeed. The thing is, I think this is coming at the wrong time. Like, this is a phenomenal ability, make no mistake about it. But there are basically two things I want to do. There are two reasons why this ability becomes amazing. Number one, I can move energy from this to something else very easily. Number two, I've got an attack that lets me do more damage based on the amount of energy I've got on the field. Now, in terms of moving energy from this to something else, obviously energy switch works, but you've got to draw into it and it's kind of awkward. Also, I've got to say, if you're doing that, there is an argument that you should go for Galarian Moltres V instead, because that gets you one energy from the discard per turn. Also, Galarian Moltres, this is two for two now, really putting down its stamp as I am the Pokemon that will get darkness energy onto the field. I will get your extra darkness energy. I've got your back, dude. That is very, very much what Galarian Moltres is actually doing here, which I think is kind of cool. The better option, by far the better option, is Weavile GX. Weavile GX lets you just move your darkness energy around the field as you like it, but this is going to rotate out when this comes out. Not in Japan. Japan will have it for a little while. For us, we're going to have this rotating... When Evolving Skies comes out, which is where this is going to be. 
So that's awkward. Having these Galarian Moltres that I can use to get a ridiculous amount of energy on the field and then move it around, yes, obviously. But that's going away, and that's genuinely sad. The other thing we've got here is the whole, I'm doing more damage based on the amount of energy that's on the field. And the best one we've got here is Greninja and Zoroark. 2 energy, 30 damage, plus 30 more for each darkness energy attached to all of your Pokemon. So you get loads of energy down on the field. You go absolutely nuts. But that's an Unbroken Bonds. And that is also rotating out when this comes out. Now, obviously, we've got these in Expanded. And in Expanded, yes, brilliant. But in Standard... I'm really not loving it so much. Oh, except we do have Weezing. The Weezing from Chilling Rain. That for two energy does 20 damage, plus 20 more for each energy attached to all of your Pokemon. Now, okay, fine. It's a little awkward because it's only got 130 HP and blah, blah, blah. But this could work. Now, again, we've got to get the second energy on Weezing, so something like Energy Switch is probably a given, which is legitimately sad. But it's an option. Like Galarian Moltres plus Weezing, it is a new deck. It is going to be a single prize deck. Now, whether it's going to end up being good enough or not, I don't really know. Although, do remember, whenever you're playing Weezing, it means you can combo with the Galarian Weezing, which blocks abilities, and that's actually really cool. Does give you some nice options. So maybe, maybe there's a Weezing deck here. Again, you've got to get the second energy on Weaving, so you have been warned. When this drops in Japan or in Expanded, ridiculous card. The fact that you can use Weave RGX, the fact that you've got Greninja and Zoroark, love it. In Standard, it's not the same. You're pretty much forced into using Energy Switch. And that's awkward. Especially because what happens when you run out of Energy Switch. And also, you just don't have as good an attacker. Weezing is fine, but it's not on the same level. Oh yeah, we do actually have an attack here though. And this is incidentally why it's better than Darkrai. Two Darkness, one colorless energy, 20 damage, plus 50 more for each prize card your opponent has already taken. This is actually my favorite thing about this Moltres. I love that you can get extra Darkness energy down, and that is brilliant. But honestly, the best thing about it is this attack. Because you play it down, and as long as you've got free energy in your hand, you can attach all three of them to this at the same time. And if your opponent's taken four prize cards, you do 220. That is a KO on a Pokemon V. There are very, very few Pokemon V that won't get KO'd by this. And this is what I love. There are going to be plenty of Trixie decks you can use this for extra energy, etc. But even on its own, like, why would you not play this in a deck like Eternatus? Late in the game, you play it down, you hit 220. If your opponent's taken five prize cards, you hit 250. This can, and that's a thing, right? Because if I play this down, I'm hitting 220 damage. If my opponent KOs it, I'm hitting 270, if I can get another one down. If they don't KO it, I'm just hitting 220 next turn. Unless, of course, they can take two prizes to win the game. This, for me, just becomes an absolute must play as a single prize Pokemon in a Darkness deck. I love it. It's a five Wossy card. The ability is great, and there are tricks you can pull off, even if we're missing the best cards for it in Standard. But let's be clear, you can still do some cool stuff. But having this attack as well, if you've got free energy in hand and this, you should be, you know, your opponent goes down to four prizes remaining, and all of a sudden you've got a single prize Pokemon taking out Pokemon V. That is brilliant. And just as I sat down to record this, it turns out... We had Galarian Zapdos revealed, and the lovely David Hockman has gone and given our translation. And it's basically the same card. Now, it's fighting type, which incidentally is a way better typing, because you're hitting way better weaknesses. You've got free retreat, which incidentally is way better. And a weakness of psychic, which is not a huge deal post-rotation, which is kind of wonderful. Uh, Shadow Horse, I suppose.
Yeah, Shadow Horse is going to suck. All right, that's a bit of a pain. You do have 110 HP, which is kind of low, but you are a basic. Let's not get too annoyed. But what we've got here is the same ability, but with fighting energy, rather than with darkness energy. So, once during a turn, when you play this Pokemon from your hand to your bench, you may attach two fighting energy to it. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And I'm going to be honest with you, my analysis here is going to be very similar to my analysis of Moltres. Really, the best things about this are when we can move the energy off and we don't have a good way to do that right now, except for, you know, energy switch. And when I can do more damage for each energy attached to my Pokemon. But unfortunately, we've got options for Psychic, Grass, and Darkness, and Lightning. Multiple options for Lightning, incidentally. But we don't have one of them for fighting. Now, maybe in the future we will. And again, if we ever get a way to move Darkness Energy around the field, this becomes over-the-top amazing. If we ever get a Pokemon that does more damage either for all energy or just for fighting energy, this becomes a million times better. As it is, we don't have them, which is sad. But you still got energy switch. And bearing in mind, fighting Pokemon in terms of energy acceleration are trash. I love me some fighting Pokemon, but let's not pretend we've ever had even remotely good energy acceleration. Now maybe we do. Now maybe, I don't know, Stone Journey V Max, just as an example. Free energy, 200, 330 HP, big dude. Third energy, well now all of a sudden, turn one, we attach an energy. Turn two, we attach an energy switch from Galarian Zapdos, and oh look, we are there. This is now just one turn faster. And I think that's how we need to think about Galarian Zapdos in this way. We need to think about it as, I am going to be there. I am going to just get you a little bit of a boost. Not build a deck around. Although, incidentally, it, it's not limited to once during your turn. And Scoop Up Net is a thing. You can play multiples of these. But just as I'm going to give you a little bit of a boost throughout the game here and there. But we've got an attack here, and the attack is very nice as well. Two fighting, one colorless energy. So again, can be paid very easily using the ability. 70 damage. And you discard all energy attached to this Pokemon. And the defending Pokemon is now paralyzed. Cool. Now, I believe this is an optional thing. It's usually an optional thing, so you don't have to discard all energy and do the paralysis, but you can if you wish. And it's automatic paralysis. And automatic paralysis is great. I've used the examples many times before, but, you know, things like Excelgor in the past, they win games. The problem is, Excelgor wasn't good enough on its own. It, it got played and saw a huge amount of success with Vileplume. And with Gothitelle. And what do Vile Plume and Gothitelle have in common? Item lock. Paralysis is always better when you can combine it with item lock so your opponent can't use cards like Switch. And I don't know we've got that here. And that's a problem. Because everyone's playing many switching cards right now. Now, if you can combine this, for instance, with a reset stamp down to a low hand size, or you can play it when you know your opponent's out of switches, then it becomes a bazillion times better. But in the early game, in the mid game, just randomly using this for paralysis, it will work sometimes. But there are also going to be a bunch of games where you're like, ha paralysis, and your opponent's like, switch. And free energy, discard them all, 70 damage, it's not good enough. Like, let's just get that out there right away. That ain't good enough. Not by half. You have been warned. I still love this, but where is Galarian Zapdos? I look at it and I'm just like, okay, that is an attack which is going to be phenomenal in the late game. I look at this and I'm like, I like this attack. But I've got to be really careful because I've got to be thinking about my opponent switching and I've got to be making sure they can't get out of paralysis and that is not the same level of ease, ladies and gentlemen. Not even remotely close. 
I'm still going to go ahead and give this one between three and four Wossies. We don't give half Wossies. That would be barbaric. And one of the things that you must bear in mind is that both of these Pokemon, if we ever get anything that lets you move the energy around easily, they become approximately 100 billion times better than they are now. I still love Galarian Moltres. I like Galarian Zapdos. But there is a lot of potential here which is currently not being met, which absolutely could be in the future. That's what I think. I'd like to know what you think. So let me know in the comment section, would you? Go nuts! Be nice! And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash ptcg radio if you want to support the channel get some bonus podcasts and all that good stuff head on over to patreon.com slash ptcg radio where you can do exactly that but by far the most important thing as always look after yourselves till next time would ya thank you very much for watching my name's ross and you've been watching ptcg radio